Hello, I'm Cassia Faye Hayden. Welcome to my channel, Hi Sparks, and welcome to another Dollar Tree haul. Sparks wanted to video bomb and say hi. Hi. He's such a sweetie. And Faye is about ready to pop. Yep, she's gonna be due pretty soon. She's like this big around. I am not exaggerating. She's huge. So, um, she wasn't anywhere near that big last time, so I'm thinking she's probably going to give me more kittens this time. Let's hope. So, um, first of all, I found these nice big wads of felt, and I've made, um, like, cat toys out of felt before, um, granted, um, they were kind of like cast offs from something I was actually making for a class, um, for a sewing class I was actually in at the time. Um, I was making a felt shawl with, uh, with like tabs on it for no sew. And then I decided I didn't like the tabs on it. So I cut off all the tabs on it and sewed it together. And then I gave the shawl to my mom as like a Mother's Day gift. Um... Which I'm pretty sure she threw away because I never saw it again after that. Um, but she does shit like that. That's how little she cares about me. But anyway, um, moving on from my family issues. <laughs> um, so because I cut off all those tabs, I didn't want to waste them. Because, you know, why waste fabric when you have fabric? So I just tied them in little knots and gave them to the cats. Somehow I still have some left over because this was like years ago, like more than more than six or seven years ago. So um, somehow I still have some uh, around on the floor. I don't know how I still have any left, but I do. And the cats still absolutely adore them. So um, I decided why not buy some felt and make a whole bunch more and since it they had it there and I mean they didn't have any other colors or else I would have picked up more colors but I mean it's my favorite color well I like purple so I mean I don't think the boys will care that it's purple they don't they don't care you know in the in kitty world you know pretty colors are pretty colors there's no boy colors or girl colors they're just they're just colors. <laughs> and no, cats are not colorblind. I know everybody seems to think that, but that that's dogs. Dogs are colorblind. Cats are not colorblind. Cats actually have way better vision than people do. They can zoom in and out with their vision, which is why their eyes dilate and um, they retract um, because they their eyes can actually zoom, believe it or not. Um, they can see details that people could never see. Um, it's not just their sight, but their hearing. That's really amazing. They have like dog type hearing. They have amazing balance. Um, I mean, I could go in on and on and on about how awesome their senses are, but um, you're here for a Dollar Tree haul. So. <laughs> but cats are just amazing. They're so impressive. Oh yeah, I'm still in this bag. And then I got a bunch of these little um, coconut shaped cups because I was thinking of either using them for ice cream or drinks when I have my pool cleaned out for the summer. Um, it's like a kiddie pool, but I'm four foot ten, so I fit in it. So <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> if it was a bigger pool, I'd probably drown because I can't swim. So being four foot ten, having a, a kiddie pool to cool me off during the summer, it works. So I got, I think I got four of those. Seems, I see three here. Maybe there's one in another bag. But I either got three or four. I didn't really pay attention to how many I was counting. Um, I bought a whole bunch of ribbon. Because I got this great idea from somebody else actually. It's not my idea. But um, somebody on Facebook was making like 
um, ultra sized um, Maypoles. I know May, uh, uh, May Day is over already because it was earlier this month. Um, but they made like ultra sized Maypoles. And since I live in a trailer and don't really have the room for a Maypole, and I've been planning on making something to go on the top of my Christmas tree stand for years now for a maypole and still do not have a place to put it. Because, <laughs> I mean, I can't really wrap the ribbon around it if I can't really get to it in a corner. So, um, but anyway, and, you know, on, on my Christmas tree stand, there's still those pieces that have the um, the fake, uh, um, pine on it. So, I mean, it wouldn't give me the effect that I'd want anyway. So, uh, it was a great idea and I couldn't really afford to buy hers at the time. And she's like, you know, you could make it. I'm like, you're right. I could, I really could. I could buy it from you when I have the money or I could go to the dollar store and pick up all the supplies that I want and make one, whatever size I want. And whatever I want it to look like and she's like yeah that sounds like a great idea she didn't seem offended remotely that I was interested in kind of stealing her idea so <laughs> you know it's cool on her that she's uh she's willing to share her idea right when she's trying to make money off of it but so I got these beautiful colors of ribbon um I mean they had way more colors than that but I really liked these ones so I picked up those ones, but we got my favorite one right there. And we got green and blue. Those are two of my favorites. I loved this multicolored um, pink, and, pink, blue, and white one. I thought that one was cool. And I mean, pink for, you know, May Day. So um, I got those. And then um, I got two more packs of these eye things for the bags under my eyes because they are awesome and they work great. can use them in the morning when I'm going out to see Sam or um, if I'm having a little spa day. And I did finally find, um, actually they found it for me because I was asking about it because I was like, I can't find them every time I come in. I can't find them anymore. I know where you used to have them, but I don't see them. Either I'm blind or you're out. <laughs> um, finally found the uh, the mask brush, the little rubber mask brush to apply the masks. Um, I haven't done any masks for a while. I When I do finish trying out all those masks, I will do a review for you guys because there are a couple that didn't work at all for me. And then there's... One so far that did work out very well. But um, I do move this camera a little bit closer. I do um, I do plan on using them again soon so that I can like do the review all at once um, instead of doing reviews for them like one at a time because I like doing it in bulk. That way you guys get more out of the video. But anyway, um, let's do this one next. I grabbed three little sprigs of flowers, little mini flowers, to uh, put on top of that maple. Um, I am going to take what, what bits I don't use for it and throw it into that, um, that vase that I got from, from Cat Lady Box. Um, I love that vase. I'm not big on vases. But you guys know how much I love kitties. So, um, I don't know. I just, I love that vase. It's great. Okay, and then I think I got three of these. Also, for my uh, for when I'm out at my pool. Um, three of those little shell-shaped uh, water bottles. I don't know, they kind of felt like I could I could use them for like a mermaid vibe. And then when you have kittens, when you're a breeder and have kittens, you do need a lot of um 
of potty pads. I mean, these are labeled for um, food bowl pads, but um, they work just as well for potty pads. So I got some more of these um, in gray. I got one in like teal. Um, I still have the blue one and the pink one that I bought before. And then um, in here, I found another shape that's shaped like kitty heads, which I knew that they had because um, because other videos had, had them, but they hadn't come into mine yet, into my store yet. So I've got, I got all the colors, um, the teal, the blue, the pink, and the gray. So I got all the colors of the potty pads. And those will help me out a lot because I don't only use them in in the um in the birthing box which will be used soon. <laughs> soon soon Faye will use it again. <laughs> um but I also use them in the cat stroller. So um I mean I they haven't gone potty in the cat stroller yet, but there's going to come a point where they're going to need to. So Eventually, they will end up doing so. And apparently, I bought my wallet today. <laughs> no, I just threw it in there so I wouldn't have to carry it back out to the car. <laughs> so. <laughs> Actually, I bought that from Walmart, like, I think about 10 years ago. Maybe maybe more. I can't remember if Avea was born yet or not when I bought the wallet. So, somewhere around there. <laughs> Yeah, somewhere around there. Could be could be 14 years or more or less. I don't remember. But there's another one of those shell cups. Um, I bought some moss to go on the bottom of my little um, maypole. Um, I did grab two of those actually because I've seen uh, people using the moss and it looks kind of messy to me. I bought some more cat bowls, um, metal ones, and then I got plastic ones too. Um, some of these will be saved for my cats. Some of these will be um, going in the um, build your own basket box. I've got some of these. Um, again, both for, for my cats and for the box. I got more of these because um, summer is coming and they are going to need more water than they actually have. So, um, yeah, the little kitchen dishes that I have as their water dishes in the kitchen right now are nice and work pretty well. But they'll work even better in the bedroom and these will work better in the kitchen for the cats. So... There's that. And then... Oh, that bag's empty. Those in there. There we go. And then... More dishes. Like I said, I bought a lot of dishes. There's pink and blue also in these ones. Um, I was trying to make sure I got a nice variety both for my cats and for um for that that box for people to buy from me and no I'm not gonna overcharge for them <laughs> anything that I got for a dollar from the dollar store is going for a dollar so I'm not gonna overcharge <laughs> I don't do that I think it's rude <laughs> I'd be pissed if someone pulled that shit with me so I'm not gonna do it to you guys and then I got these little itty bitty popcorn containers that look like realistic old fashioned popcorn containers. Um, sorry, my nose is itchy. I haven't been taking my allergy meds and between um, having the windows open and all seven of the cats, <laughs> you know, it's spring. So the grass is making me have allergies, more allergies than usual. Then I grabbed one of these because 
I do struggle with shampooing my hair because my arms fatigue extremely easily. So I've seen these online. I've seen these on other videos. I've seen them on videos for um, Amazon videos for uh, Walmart. I've seen them on a shit ton of videos. Um, people telling how good they that these are and how much they like using them for, for shampooing their hair. Um, so I figured give it a try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, if it doesn't relieve the tension on my arms, what can you do? But if it does, you know, I'll try pretty much anything to help with my, my fibro issues. If anything that works, um, makes things easier for me because now I hate using the spoon analogy because to me, a spoon does not exactly, um, convey, you know, like how much energy you have, like coins makes more sense to me or a battery, you know, that makes more sense to me, but spoons, you know, I don't, I don't really understand how someone got spoons out of fibromyalgia. I don't know. But so the the spoon theory with the fibromyalgia thing and like I said coins make more sense but this is how how the spoon theory goes um you get so many spoons to spend on tasks during the day and each task takes so many spoons for uh, of energy to actually get the task done so like you have when you run out of spoons to do tasks, you run out of being able to get tasks done. And you're either completely out of spoons and you can no longer do tasks for the day and therefore you are in a flare where you cannot function. Or you're borrowing spoons for, from other days, which sometimes is possible with energy. Um, and which means you basically are going to end up not being able to do anything for like a week <laughs> if you are able to manage to borrow en energy from from following days um it just it depends how fast the flare kicks in if the flare kicks in um that day then you're stuck on the couch the whole rest of the day if the flare kicks in like the day a day later a couple days later then you're stuck on the couch recovering from that flare for a week or more. So, I mean, I hope that it helps explain you guys to you guys how um, fibro and en energy works. Um, so the more things that I can find that, that I can use to help um, use less energy and um, get more done while using less energy... Um, I'm going to try it because, <laughs> and like I said, coins make so much more sense than spoons to me. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that, but anyway, if it, if it helps with the energy, that'll be nice. So I hear the cats growling and I think they stole something of mine. No, nope, I don't think they did. Because I have my dinner sitting out waiting for me. <laughs> they like to steal my dinner. I mean, it's sealed, but it's not rocket science on how to get into it. I bought more of these for the box. Um, I decided that they are so annoying when I'm trying to sleep that I am not buying them for my cats anymore. Because they will fight with them while I'm trying to sleep. Like I said, I found one. Yay! A little brush for my for my facials. Yay! But yeah, um I mean, if they don't play with them while you're trying to sleep, that's fine. You know, it's not going to be super annoying. More moss, like I said. But it's just it's hard for me to sleep when they're playing with that. I got more shampoo, more dandruff shampoo, because I get dandruff, especially over here, because, um, 
I don't just have well water. I mean, I get dandruff from well water too, because you know, the, um, you know, parts of plants seeping into the ground and into the ground, uh, ground water and whatnot, but it's, it's not as bad with well water as it is with the type of water I have. I have an aquifer. Um, so like the water is on the top of the ground. Okay. It's like a giant pond and it's like cleaned out with chemicals all the time. But the problem is, is when people mow <laughs> and you know, spring comes and all the plants are blooming and the pollen's just flying around in the air everywhere. It goes into the aquifer and then, um, that goes into my water. And then when I shower, I get hives. <laughs> and it's not just the hives, but it causes really bad dandruff. Right now it's causing hives because everybody's mowing and there's just pollen everywhere. I mean, the hives will stop eventually. Um, you know, when spring and all the blooming and all the pollen just like decides to go away a little bit. But, um... It won't be quite so bad. The hives will start going away. But because of all the pollen in the air, it's just, it keeps giving me hives every time I shower now. So <laughs> it's because it's spring. And then everybody's mowing every week. The whole park is mowing every week. So <laughs> it's, it's nuts. So, um, I mean, I know not everybody has problems like that with allergies. Um, but... You know, I know I can find a way to get a filter put on there to, to help deal with it, but I'll get around to it. <laughs> I'll just get around to it. And then, um, I got this, this, uh, Wi-Fi password sign so that, um, once I start having, you know, guests over to buy kittens or, um, you know, if Sam comes over or his daughters come over, um, you know, they can use my Wi-Fi, which is actually my hotspot. I don't actually have Wi-Fi because, um, they're still trying to charge me. Uh, uh, Charter is still trying to charge me for a bill my brother got under my name. Isn't that nice? I keep telling them that it's not my bill, but they don't believe me. And I mean, they tell me they believe me and they tell me they're going to remove it from my credit, but then they never do. And I keep getting billed for it and it keeps going back on my credit. Like it only removes from my credit for like a week and then it's back on my credit. So it's like they're trying to harass me into buying it, into paying it when it's not my bill. It's a fraudulent bill because he went and got my, his internet under my name. I don't even know how they don't know better that Danielle is not a boy's name. That is actually my real name. <laughs> I mean, I sit there and argue with people on the phone all the time trying to explain to them that Danielle is not Daniel. <laughs> I am not a boy. It is not a boy's name. <laughs> it is spelled completely different. <laughs> And they sit there and argue with me about it. And I'm like, you know, it's been my name for 35 years. I think I'd know better than you would when you don't have that name. But idiots like to argue. I got three three of these also. They're little, like, pineapples. Pineapple cups. Also for the pool. I'm trying to go with, like, a Hawaiian and mermaid type theme there. <laughs> and then... Oh, yep, there's the other two. And then I got another mermaid tail statue for my bathroom. Because it's pretty. They're getting better shapes. Every time I go there, their shapes for their, for their mermaid tails are better and better. So they're upgrading everything. Um, put that on the table because it's pretty and... And then, uh, cat 
food dishes. Um, and I got uh, some suave shampoo. Because they finally have strawberry there. The only one that they had there before, what, well, they had two there. They had like an ocean scented and apple. And I mean, I like apple scented and ocean scented, but they're not very girly scents. I like strawberry scents because they're very girly and they smell good and they make you feel like you smell pretty. So I've gotten a lot of compliments on my hair smelling good when I use um, uh, strawberry scented shampoo. So, <laughs> and then I got conditioner too. And then we're getting down to the wire here now. I got the plunger. Plunger I am using not for a plunger. I am using the plunger for my DIY. For my little um, maple. That's why I got the, the moss. I'm going to put the moss down on the plunger part. And then I'm going to paint the stick. And then I'm going to glue the flowers and the ribbons on the top. And it's going to look cool when I'm done. And then I got this big popcorn tub. Big popcorn tub. And that's it. That's all I got. So, um, I know I got a lot. Um, it was like six, 60 bucks worth of stuff. <laughs> and I was kind of freaking out because I knew my money was going to go on today, but I didn't know when. <laughs> and I had just, I mean, my second check. Um, my first check I, already, I had already gotten, obviously. And I had already gone, got my rent, um, from my, uh, my rent money order. And, um, after my rent and my cat food, I only had 30 bucks left. So I intended on only buying 30 bucks worth of stuff. But, I mean, you guys know how it is when you go into the dollar store. I mean, everything's a buck and it's nice stuff. So, I mean, you always end up splurging more than you intend to. So... <laughs> But I'm at the register watching it climb and climb and climb. And I'm like, I really hope that my check went through because I know I went over. <laughs> so thankfully, while my phone was out in the car, it beeped and said that I my check went through. And I didn't know that it went through. But luckily it did because thank God. <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there watching it climb, sweating. <laughs> hey, guys chill play nice but anyway <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the haul i hope you found stuff saw stuff in there that you would be interested in buying and um please like share and subscribe i currently do not have a giveaway item um right now um the uh i did put the the magnet the mother's day magnet away because Mother's Day is over and nobody seemed interested. So I will do another giveaway for that next year. Um, so it's it's packed up so it's secure and safe and, you know, it's not going to get damaged. Um, and it's put away. So when I get more giveaway items, I will, um, you know, show them to you guys. And please like, share, and subscribe. And... Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.